What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Tyrants. My name is Tyrant. I hope y'all been having a good day so far. Now, today I wanted to talk to you all about Uber and my experience doing Uber and if maybe you should consider doing Uber. So, I started doing Uber in around August. To become an Uber driver, you have to meet a few requirements. Like, you have to be 21 years or older. You have to have driving experience of like three years or more. Um, your car has to be like 2004 or older. You have to drive a four door car, whether that's a car, truck, anything like that. It has to, be, it has to have four doors. You have to have a really clean driving record. You can't have any DUIs. I think they do allow parking tickets sometimes, so yeah. But you can't have any type of car wrecks or anything on your record like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hop on the Uber driver app and show you all some things. Alright, so this is the Uber driver app, everyone. It shows me how much I make. It shows me if I'm online or not. So basically, I can go online by pressing this button right here. And now I'm online. And if I'm presented with a ride, I'm going to have to accept that ride. Or I'll get penalized or something like that. You, they, Uber wants you to like accept the rides. If you don't want to do it, you want to turn it off. If you don't feel like driving, just turn off the app. So... This is my Uber profile right here. So as you all can see, I have a 4.97 rating right here. Um, I have 86 five stars and three four stars, four stars. Uh -huh. As you, as this, the second one, this like button right here, this is like for deliveries, but I don't like doing Uber Eats and I'll talk to you all about that later. But yeah, I don't like doing Uber Eats. This one, the next one right here, this is the acceptance rate. The acceptance rate is basically the amount of rides that you accept within a month that are presented to you. So, this within October 12th to November 11th, I've um, had 12 trip requests and I've accepted 11 of them and I didn't do one of them. As you all can see, 12 is really low. Like, as, you, as I told you, I don't do Uber a lot anymore, especially since I got promoted in my job. So, I don't really want to do it all the time. Um, cancellation rate is really good to have a zero percent cancellation rate because that's just good. Uber wants that. Like it shows that you're not canceling on customers when you like say I accept to go pick somebody up from McDonald's, but then I say, oh man, I'm not feeling good. I don't want to do it no more, and then I just cancel out of nowhere just like that. So you're gonna have a cancellation rate percentage, and you don't want to have that. All right, I've done 128 trips. Since those four months, like since August, I've done 128 trips all together. So I've learned a lot and it's been really good and it's been a really good experience like doing Uber. Um, I'll get some compliments down here, excellent service. This comment is from someone who was talking to me about banks and like how to make my money work for me and all that, which I've been really into for a while. Um, achievements, I have 55 star trips, but I'm almost close to 105 star trips, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, just some things about me down here that they want you guys to describe yourself or something like that, so I just put a few things down here. Alright, so how much have I, how much can you make doing Uber? Alright, so there's some people who can make well over a thousand dollars a week if they do Uber full time. Like I said, I'm not going to do Uber full time and have so many other things to worry about then driving and getting paid for it so so let me go ahead and see as you all can see for like this week i haven't earned anything because i haven't done uber this week so let me go all the way back to august all right so actually i started in july i started doing uber in july so when i first started the first, that first week i did two rides so i ended up making eight dollars and 73 cent for those two rides most likely See, Uber, you get paid based off of mileage, um, how long it takes you to get there, and rather the customer tips you or not. Now, let's go to a higher earnings type of week. So, I think around the first or second week of August, I think I made $235 in one week, and I only did 18 rides. Like, I dropped 18 people off. So, I, I think that was a really good deal. So... Basically, the time online, I don't like to pay attention to this because it doesn't really represent anything valuable. Like, it's not like I was driving 24 hours that whole week, and you can see how that would be unreasonable. <laughs> but it just, 
this number reflects the total time you had the app set to online. So this just basically shows like the time that I had went online and how long I stayed online for. So I just think Uber needs to get that out of the app. It's just confusing for the most part. I earned 46 points within this week. As you can see, Friday was my highest earning day. I earned like $101 this day. And I only did four trips. I only did four rides and I made $100. I made $19.47 in tips. So, all right. Uber does different promotions. Like, again, sometimes throughout the day you get more points for each drive that you do, depending on if it's busy or in what area you're in. And I drive in the St. Louis area, so yeah, if I'm in downtown St. Louis and it's really busy after a baseball game, then yes, they will offer you, they will add like bonuses on to each ride that you do so that you can, so that it's more likely that you will accept rides around that time. Alright. You can just find your basic information about your car up in here. So yeah, I drive a 2012 Chevy Cruze. So, that's basically it for the Uber drivers app that I think I need to go through. Yeah. Alright, All right, so why do I prefer regular Uber driving compared to Uber Eats, like going to a restaurant and delivering food? One, I just love interacting with people, so I'm a people person. It's just easier for me to have people get in my car and then we talk and all that, rather than driving to a McDonald's or... Uh, um, White Castle or something and picking up food and delivering it to somebody right around the corner where I won't even make that much money compared to somebody who's most likely trying to go somewhere far away anyway. I don't understand why I'm going to go to McDonald's and drive right around the corner into a neighborhood and give them their money. I mean give them their, give them their food for like $3 for that trip. It's just a waste of time and sometimes this is a real good reason why I don't do Uber Eats. When I go to the restaurant sometimes it takes them forever to make the food and that is just wasting my time and it's just not good service. So I don't know. I don't want to drive. I don't want to deliver food. Period. I don't want to do. I don't want to deliver food. So that's just what that is. So I don't do Uber Eats for that main reason. Being a regular Uber driver, like an Uber X driver, and taking people and dropping them off, you can make so much more money doing that compared to delivering food. And it's just a better value. People who do this full time. So for the people who do this full time, um, I really salute them. I think it's a really good way to make money full time. But I don't think that you should look at this as like a full time career. Uber's job is to get people from point A to point B. So when when um, self driving cars become really apparent in the upcoming years, Uber are gonna Uber is gonna let their um, drivers go. Really, so it's really no good reason for people to look at this as a long term job. You might want to be looking into something different if you're thinking about doing this like full time. Alright, so I want to talk to y'all about a few rides that I did. So, I'm going to start off with one bad ride. So, I picked up this um, couple and I guess they got in my car and I had said, hey, how y'all doing today? And then they straight up ignored me. Like, they didn't say anything to me. And I just really, like, I was like, wow, okay. <laughs> So I just drive, I'm just driving them to where they need to be, and then all of a sudden, the lady, she just say, you know you got an open beer bottle in your car, right? I'm like, um, no, I don't know. I didn't know that. So she's like, well, yeah, you do, it's right here. And you know if we all get pulled over, we all get a ticket. So I was like, oh, I'm sorry, ma'am, I didn't know that. I guess I'm going to take care of that when I drop y'all off. So apparently somebody that I had dropped off before that, they had left their beer bottle in my car, which was, I don't know, it's okay. But I learned in that situation that you gotta it's you gotta really respect people no matter how bad they might piss you off. So yeah, I didn't get mad or anything, I just said, okay, that's that. So another good drive. This this is like one of the best rides I had. Like I had dropped this couple off at um a hotel or something like that. So I think the ride was like twenty minutes and we had a really good conversation. Like I was talking to them, they were talking to me and everything was going real good. So I got, I got to the hotel and then, and I was getting ready to drop them off and let them out. I guess the man, he was like, hey, Tyran, do you go to church? I'm like, um, not as much as I would want to, sir. So then he's like, oh, well, I was just wondering because I just want to know if it's, it's okay if we pray for you. 
you just sound like a really good person. We just want to um, pray to, pray for you and ask God to like do everything in your favor. So I said, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> so I guess um, he said like they said like a two minute prayer, and the things that they were just saying about me was just so. It just made me feel so good. Like I just really appreciated that because they didn't have to do that, and it was just really nice of them to do that. It was so nice that I actually got out the car and I gave both of them a hug. And I know the people, all the people outside were like, why are they hugging? <laughs> because, yeah, I had to give them a hug because that really made me feel good. And I just really appreciated them for that. So, yeah, that's one of the best Uber rides that I gave because the conversations we had and the fact that they wanted to pray for me. And that was just really, really dope. There was also this one drive I was um, dropping this um, couple off at the movie theater. And I guess during the ride, they were like the goofiest people that I ever met. They were like fairly young. They were like 16 or 15. So I'm dropping them off at the movie theater in St. Louis. And then along the ride, they were just like, hey, you know, you look like Mario. And I said, I'm just thinking to myself like, Mario? They said, yeah, you do look like Mario. You do look like Mario. I'm like, okay. And then I said, oh, they talking about the single Mario. I'm like, oh, then, okay, that I guess that makes sense. We both got a big nose, so I guess that's why they think that I look like Mario. But then again, the cartoon Mario got a big nose too, so I don't know. <laughs> you want to make sure your car is clean. Like every time you do a ride, just make sure your car is clean. That just makes it really better for the rider when they get in your car. Um, you also want to make sure you have enough gas. It's been so many times that I've been like, I know my car. I'm not gonna run out of gas or nothing like that. And thankfully, I haven't run out of gas doing an Uber drive. That'd be so embarrassing it would be so bad for your uber ratings if you were to run out of gas on the side of the road with somebody in your car that would be so bad so always make sure that you have enough gas because you don't know especially as an uber blue rewards driver you don't know how long that ride is going to be so say i have like 30 miles in my car like oh my next ride is clearly going to be around the corner so yeah and then you go pick that person up and then all of a sudden they want to go to lambert airport which is like a 30 minute drive away so I actually had to do that one time. So I was like, "Oh man, Lord, please don't let don't let um we don't let us end up running out of gas." Cause and thankfully we got it, we got there on time. I went straight to the gas station after that. But you always want to make sure you have enough gas because you never know. Always, especially every time somebody gets in the car, I always ask them after like the first two questions. I always ask them like, "What kind of music you want to listen to?" I think that really makes the customer. It really makes the driver feel really good that you really care about what they want to listen to. I had some riders one time who got in my own car and then I asked them, they said, yeah, I want to listen to some like EDM music. I'm like, EDM? I don't really listen to it. I'm just thinking like, I don't listen to EDM for real, but yeah. So I just went to Spotify and I typed in what the artist that they wanted to listen to. I think it was called, he was called Elenium. So I was like, I'm just driving like, this is really nice. I like this kind of music. They was like, yeah, like he's a lot of really good songs. So I was like, Alright, that's cool. So, so it's just a good way to like, um, it's a good way to learn new music and appreciate the different genres of music. So I, I consider myself loving all types of genres of music besides heavy metal. I don't like heavy metal, but every other genre of music I really like. So, also, it's really a good idea to have snacks on hand, like have snacks on hand, like cookies and chips or something like that so that you can give it to the customer, give it to the riders, and they really appreciate that. So that's a good idea as well. A few things that you don't want to do is you don't want to not talk to somebody when they get in the car. So don't just let somebody get in your car and you just say, hey, how you doing? And then they say, I'm doing good. And then you just drive for like 15 minutes, not saying a word. Like, I would not do that, but you don't want to do that either. So make sure you Think of some general questions that you can ask people that will spark up nice conversations because that's going to be really good for the drive. It's going to make it go by faster. And then the person is going to really like you and they'll most likely give you a good rating as well after that. Alright. Again, don't drive on a near empty tank. Don't do that. That's all I'm saying. Don't do it. Also, this is really crucial, everybody. Make sure that when you drop somebody off that you check you remind, before they get out the car, you remind them to make sure that they get everything. Because there's been a few times that people have left things in my car. And I, they had to pay Uber like $15 to get my number, which is stupid. 
but they had to pay to get my number. They ended up calling me, and then they said, hey, I left my stuff for your car. Do you think you can bring it to me? I'll pay you. So they just ended up paying more money, which is really not cool. So just um, just make sure you remind them before they get out the car to like, hey, make sure you get your stuff. And also make sure that you check your car because, again, like that open beer bottle situation, you don't want to have that when somebody else gets in the car and then they see that in there. And yeah. So make sure you check your car after every ride, which is what I do. That's what you want to do too. But yeah, so that's basically it, everybody. I love doing Uber sometimes, on my, especially when I'm not doing nothing at all. I would like say, hey, why not make an extra few dollars or something? So yeah, I really like doing it. I think that you would like doing it too. Like if you want to make some extra money on the side, yeah, why not start doing Uber? It's better than other things that you could be doing to be making money. So yeah, just do Uber. Make sure you have insurance on your car because that's also a requirement and yeah. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you all got something out of it, please leave a like. Please leave a comment if you all have any questions. If you all want to see more videos like this, please drop some ideas down below. And also please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a great day and thank you all for watching.